good product development teams do two things. They continuously talk to customers and they continuously run experiments. I think talking to customers and really interviewing them and trying to better understand their life, their stories, not trying to uh, nudge them one way or the other to bias them, but just open-ended questions that understand you know, how their life is, especially as it relates to the product. How do they last use the product? How, not even use the product. How do they last perform a certain action which the product is designed to uh, fulfill? Helps us uncover customer pain. Experiments, so I think, how do you uncover what are the biggest pain points or needs of the customer by talking to customers? And then how do you actually validate? So that's the customer pain points. But then there are many different ways that you could solve this customer pain point. How do you then validate that Solving this pain point, this is the best way to do it, is running an experiment. Because if you don't run an experiment, you don't know. Because there are so many other things that happen, you give too much credit to the product launch then as having solved that pain. Assume you launch a product and assume something moved. Did it move? Because what happens many times if you don't have an experiment culture, the product team takes credit for, oh, well, we launched it. Look, you know, retention improved. Ergo, it should have been this product launch. While it was just rain, it was just raining that week or the weather just turned, you know, whatever, or or there was something else that happened with secular trend, the Fed East interest rates or something that changed. And so I think without experiment, you can never truly understand the impact of, and most good product teams want to understand what the real impact was. And you can't really understand whether the features you're launching are having an impact or not. And uh, you basically get, uh, suckered into believing your own drinking your own Kool-Aid because you just believe correlations. And so there is impossible to really understand causality without running experiments. 